post public workers' contributions to their health care and pension funds and limit collective bargaining to only wages. Other union powers and perks will be stripped, and therein lies the heart of the controversy, and it's not unique to Wisconsin. CNN's Casey Wyatt has been covering the protest for days now. He's with us by phone from Madison and Casey. We understand that the governor has scheduled a news conference for uh, later today, and I'm wondering, is that a sign that maybe we might finally see some movement after all? Well, I guess perhaps is the word, Marty. Uh, we're trying to find out what the governor is going to be talking about, but so far we haven't been able to get any information on that. I can tell you this, he held a news conference on Friday, and we thought perhaps there would be some movement on this issue, but he uh, defiantly said, I'm not going to negotiate with these unions uh, until these, uh, I'm not going to talk about this issue, until these absentee lawmakers have returned to the state, those Democrats who left the state, basically holding up his uh, legislation. What's happening outside the state capitol right now is a, a small number of uh, protests circling the state capitol, people who are upset about this uh, proposed bill that would uh, strip the public employee unions of many of their collective bargaining rights. And I'm standing outside because inside is where all the action is. If I was standing inside the state capitol and perhaps we're showing some video of, of, of that scene earlier, you wouldn't be able to hear me talk. It's so loud. There are thousands of people in there showing their opposition uh, to this legislation. They're going to be joined by a couple of uh, celebrities, Morello of uh, Rage Against the uh, Machine, and uh, also Green Bay Packers uh, defensive back Charles Woodson is expected to make an appearance in support of these protesters. The Tea Party leaders say they are here, but we have not seen any of these Tea Party uh, supporters of the governor that were in evidence over the weekend. Right now, we're just uh, waiting to hear what the governor has to say later today to see if there's any movement in this impasse, Martin. Casey, any idea how long the protesters plan to keep this up? <laughs> Indefinitely, they say. They say they're not going to go anywhere until uh, they are assured that the collective bargaining rights of these public employee unions to be respected. And, and even those union members who are not impacted by that, this, the firefighters and the police, they joined some of these protesters over the weekend, walking in to a dramatic round of applause. So uh, it doesn't seem like they have any plans to go anywhere anytime soon. And what about those AWOL Democrats? Have they reported in? Anybody know where they are? <laughs> they have not. We have not heard any change from them. What we're, what, what we're hearing from them is that they are going to stay out. Uh, they do feel a sense of accomplishment that uh, they were able to slow this legislation down and give these protesters a chance to have their voices heard over the weekend. I imagine they're waiting to hear what the governor has to say before they'll decide whether they're going to come back. Yeah, a lot of waiting going on. Casey Wine in the thick of it there in Madison. Thanks very much.